Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Reagan, and for today's video, I'm just going to be kind of decluttering and reorganizing and cleaning out just random spaces that I have a bunch of my stuff in. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy and find this interesting to watch, but let's just go ahead and get started. So the first area I'm going to tackle is my closet. So I cleaned out like clothes and stuff a while ago, but I have a bunch of stuff on the floor, so I'm going to start with that little section. So as you walk in, this is what my closet currently looks like. So there's just kind of unorganized. This part I probably won't mess with, even though it's still kind of messy. But the main area I'm going to be tackling is the floor. So I have all this just everywhere. So I'm going to start with all of that. Alrighty, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is just take everything that's on the floor out of my closet and then resituate from there. Alright, so I finished the closet. It took like 10 minutes, um, but I thought I'd show you the after. So as you open the door, you can actually see the floor now, which is great. So I just kind of lined up my tennis shoes here. Those are my old ones, so I just put them in the back. Um, and then the rest of my shoes in the cubby. And then I reorganized, or just refolded everything in these bottom two cubbies. So they're not like falling out because they were spilling over before. They still don't look great because um, sweaters are quite hard to make look neat. But you can see the floor, nothing spilling over. Um, so uh, that's it for the closet. Next we are going to go to my desk and clean and get rid of some stuff on there because that has not been cleaned in a long time. Alright, sorry if the lighting's bad in here. It's getting dark out. But this is my desk, a um, little bit rough, so that's why we're cleaning it up. So I'll do a quick before shot. And now it's time to go through some stuff and just make it look more organized and less cluttered. Before I start, I would just like to mention all this paper. So I print out my Spanish vocabulary and that's kind of the paper that's left over. But I keep it because I can obviously still write on it and don't waste it. And then I have like piles of paper over here I need to recycle. Um, and then I need to go through like all of this in here. Oh, I also need to go through in here. The drawer doesn't pull out, but it's like benchmarks and stuff I've done. That's like four years of online school. So I need to go through that and recycle a bunch of it. Right now I'm going to take all these to, to the art room. So now I'm just going to go through all my papers and sort between like keep, recycle, all that kind of stuff. Alright, so I ended up just going through everything, everything that was in there. And keep in mind, this is a collection of about four years worth of printed out benchmarks, which is like a practice for a state test I have. Um, but basically, I just put this in a trash can. This is all just paper that I'm going to go recycle, but I, it wasn't usable. It's all like printed words, everything, passages I've had to read and stuff. I'm going to go recycle that, but I made two other piles. So that book was randomly in there, so I'll put that up. But this is paper that I can use the back side of it if I need to jot something down. So there's a little bit of print on it, but I can still use it. And then these are my art projects for this year. So I'm going to go put those in the art room instead of in here. Um, so just kind of random, random things like that. Um, but then I should be close to done after that. 
I did find this little gem, a Target gift card that has never been used. So that's really exciting. Um, but I need to throw this away. It's like a broken boogie board. So when I do math or whatever, um, I write on this and you just click this button and it races instead of wasting much paper. Um, but as you see, it doesn't race more. So I have a, another one right in there. So I need to throw that away along with a few other random things that I have laying around here. Alright, I made a ton of progress, so here's the final result of everything. So I organized all the papers under here, and now all I have are just a few important things. If I need it, they're there. And then organize that a little bit. Then I got rid of all these that were just laying around and re-stuck them back together. And then over here is only the papers that I can use to write on that have been used on like one side but not the other. And then we just have my laptop. It's so much less cluttered than before and I'm really happy with the way it looks. Alright, the last thing I'm going to be going through and cleaning out in this video is my staircase. The last drawers. So they open up and um... Yeah, there's a lot of just kind of junk drawers. So, <laughs> this is the project, and this could take me 15 minutes. This could take an hour. We shall find out. All right, so I did wide variety of stuff in that drawer so I have a bunch of like rehab pain relief type stuff and I have this big pile like I have this journal I have a bunch of old old bible studies um a few books and then I have just a little like notepad type thing I have random stuff there those are the cards from the he's most likely video I did I have a bunch of like Bible verses I wrote out forever ago, like maybe six, seven years that have kind of gotten ruined or they don't look very good because I made them all go. I found my old mini iPad, which I forgot how cute this case was. Um, I might try to charge it and see if it still works. Found this thing of Swedish Fish, which is definitely being thrown away. It's a hard as a rock. I found this grip bag. Where I found some of my old grips, which these are probably five years old because I use I've used buckles last forever how long so I'm gonna go back through put some stuff back in there and then put some stuff in other places so this is the final result for this short it still doesn't look very neat but there's about half the amount of stuff in there all right I finished all the drawers so I thought I would um go through and show y'all the final results so first off this drawer I just kind of have all my boxes for my old stuff so, um this next drawer we have my hammock and then it's like old notebooks and magazines or whatever um come down here this is basically where I store all my books I've read the majority of these gymnastics ones um and a few of these down here but these ones in this drawer, I've not read the majority of them. Fun fact, I actually got this book for Instagram questions for my slime count. When I used to do that, there's a bunch of books in here. And then lastly, I showed you that one. So that's the little finished results. Alright everyone, that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it and found it interesting and maybe satisfying to watch all the time lapses. Um, but yeah, hopefully this also inspired you to organize and go through your stuff, especially with all the spare time we have right now. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, I do post every Sunday and Wednesday, so definitely come back on those days to watch my future videos. And I have a super exciting video coming up, so definitely click the bell to be notified for that. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you all next time. Bye!